Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. if the Jarl is up yet. But let me refresh myself as to why I'm here. After I defeated Alduin on the, to on the top of the throat of the world, he fled from me. One of his dragon allies may be able to tell me where he's gone. I've learned that Dragonreach, the Jarl's palace in Whiterun, was once used to imprison a dragon. I need to persuade the Jarl of Whiterun to help me trap a dragon in Dragon Reach. No, he's still in bed. Then I suppose I'll just wait. running dangerously low. Our stores of meat, wine, and grain are all but depleted. Purchase more supplies, then. That's your job as steward, isn't it? Why do you trouble me with these details? My lord, since Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising, the cost of goods has doubled. I'll need more coin if I'm to provision us properly. Our coffers are nearly empty. I can scarcely afford to pay the guards. And we need every one of them in these troubled times. You'll have to make do with what we have, Proventus. Yes, my lord. Well, hell yo. Well. Look who it is. You must help me. How have you been? You need to convince my brother to do more for the war. I'm well. I'm what sorry. Did I didn't you realize that you had a meeting every morning you before you know took your throne. Judgment. But anyhow, I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your eyes. palace. You uh, suggestion I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to listen. help you trap a dragon in my palace. If you have something to say to the Jarl, <laughs> say it with your own tongue. You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Of course. You already saved White Run from that dragon. I owe you a great deal. But I don't understand. Why let a dragon into the heart of my city? when we've been working so hard to keep them out. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin, the world eater himself? Yes. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm the Dragonborn. It is my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things, but I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn, and I will. But I need your help first. What? Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. I come here with the fate of all life or Nern hanging in the balance. And you have the gall to ask me to do something for you. Very well. 
What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting <laughs> both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Then leave that to me. I will talk to Angier about hosting a peace council. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Keep safe. All right. On gear. Aldwin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? <laughs> ah, if only it were that simple. Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. You look younger for some reason. Is there some sort of skin cream that you're using that you might want to share your secret? But in addition to that, I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Until now. Jarl Balgruf won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. <laughs> Who could forget you? All right. Do you know where Alduin has gone? The old tales say that he can travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. Mm. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. I see. All right. Breath and focus. Thank you. All right, so is it General Tullius that I need to see? Let me check. Ulfric and Tullius. All right. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solid. Only the foolish or the, the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. The white run. Do I know you? I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? <laughs> They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Politics be damned. 
Alduin has returned. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If yes. that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? It does. Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So, you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. All right, gentlemen. How Good day. How long are you going to wait? I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack General. on Whiterun. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Yes. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I do. I have a message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? Yes. What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, mm. but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Well, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. You'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane to try. All right, he doesn't have the men. Hey, That's companion. Not what my scouts report, sir. Every You're the one day, all the gods are talking cause. about. Riften, huh? Dawnstar, and that Winterhold sanctuary. support him. Wiped out the Dark Brotherhood. It's not a cause. Friend, it's a rebuild. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. Can you believe it? Both Ulfric Stormcloak and General Tullius. I'm exhausted after all that traveling. I hope there's a bed in here for me. Ah, oh, good. I don't have to search the premises to find you. On here. So, you've uh, done it. Now, now you look old. Men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. This was the only way to get Balgroove's help. Yes. Yes, which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. So, oh, wait. Arngear, is it? You know why we're Delphine. here. Delphine. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain, doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Alduin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Alduin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh... Very well. You may enter. Better late than never, Delphine. 
was about to have to do this on my own. Oh. We have a room full of people. Well, it's less crowded on this side. I'm gonna. I'm not. I'm not picking we sides, people, but. You, yes. Looks like this is my chair over here. I know. Okay. All right. Why delay? Please take your seat so that we can begin. Yes. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Please, be seated. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of- you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? Isn't that Alan Wynn? take long. Diplomat. Here, here. Sure. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. <laughs> By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Oh. Either she walks or I do. What? All right. I'm going to go ahead and agree with you. You're right. The Thalmor have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Good. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! <sighs> Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Hmm. Now that that's settled, Better not. may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about, unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to We're here to resist. arrange a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes. Let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, I'll this is outrageous. This. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. What would the Empire character. want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? 
Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. Winterhold seems like a fair trade. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim's silver. Yes. Hardly. Hmm. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honrik. Plus all the mead we can drink. Well, you ask my opinion, and there are advantages to gaining Winterhold. Winterhold would allow us to directly threaten the rebel supply lines out of Windhelm. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. Hmm. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say, before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the World Eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Shores, bones, where will these demands end? Out with it, then. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation. This for is your our poor man, Talius. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, <laughs> what do you say? Oh, here we go. Ulfric should compensate you for Koth Wasten. Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. You see what talking to them gets us? Out with it then. We want the Pale returned to Imperial control. The traitor Skull the Elder will be replaced with a more loyal candidate. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide, although hmm. I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn, <laughs> what do you say? Uh... Ulfric doesn't need to give up any more territory. As I expected, you favor your friends. 
Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. Damn Imperial arrogance. Out with it, then. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial troops to enter Winterhold. Krolda will replace Coriel as Jarl. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Dalmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Themp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. And how does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice. He will hear you, wherever he might be. And why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So... What is this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Ving, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truth right. gives you what you need. It won't last. Just by you There's speaking the words. We know about I've learned the shout. What is it that Arthanax, you know? The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. Yes. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. All right. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Isn't it the other way around? Either you're with me or against me. And why do you think he needs to die? Here's the big picture. 
He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. All right, then. You're dismissed. And would you please get me a refill of mead on your way out? <laughs> 